Hi, Z. Hey. Um, so I just kind of wanted to ask your, your emotions, uh, being back, playing with the guys. I know it's been a long time and it's kind of a different sort of environment, but just being back with them and able to play alongside, how does it feel? It feels great. You know, I haven't done anything like that for a long time. I stepped in on a couple practices before the whole uh, COVID, you know, quarantine happened. And that was just all non-contact, running up and down the court, running through five on O. But uh, to get back out there and actually be working towards something, it's a lot of fun. How has it been playing alongside Carmelo for the first time for you? Really? It's awesome. uh, he's just really smart. He, he's, he's got a great voice on the court. He's somebody I can learn from just from a basketball IQ standpoint and from how loud he is on the court. Uh, those are, you know, the two things that you know, I can really learn from him. And um, and just the fact that I'm playing with somebody I watched growing up who's going to be a Hall of Famer, it's it's kind of surreal. But uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and he makes the game easy for everybody else. And Mike, do you have a question? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Zach? It's Mike Richman. Um, how – Coach has talked about this a little bit, Hassan, too. How different is the defense going to look now that you guys are playing two bigs basically all 48 minutes? I think we'll just have more rim protection. We'll have uh, better rebounding numbers because of it. We're just going to have more bodies in the paint. Um, I think guards are going to have more confidence to be up in the ball, uh, put more pressure on the other team's guards. And, you know, from that aspect, we're just going to be uh, much more efficient on the de defensive end and um, be able to disrupt a lot more on that side of the ball. Is there some functional stuff that's changing? Like in this two weeks, are you guys putting in some new stuff? Uh, a couple little things here and there, just because we have the, the personnel to do it. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of guys that know how to play defense in the league, and uh, we're going to rely on that and uh, the schemes that the coaches give us every game based on personnel. I guess just following up on a uh, earlier answer, um, that you had, you're talking about kind of getting some contact on your shoulder for the first time. You hadn't gotten that back in the in the court and practices, and you said kind of it'd be a good measurement once once you got down here to to actually test your shoulder out. So how has that test gone? Uh, my shoulder feels great, and no concern at all. Um, I haven't really thought about it since I got cleared, and um, every time I go out on the court and play contact, this you know it's like it never happened. Um, so it's the rehab process was great. It, you know, we took our time. Honestly, the, the quarantine and the stoppage of the NBA was kind of a blessing in disguise to get, you know, me and Nurk back healthy. And uh, we were able to use that extra time to get, you know, more ready than maybe we would have been if we came back when the season was still going. So, uh, no, I feel great. Aaron? Going once. <laughs> okay. Hey, Zach. Uh, what up? Hey, sorry. Am I muted or I'm good? Nope. You're good. You're good. Okay. Hey, so wondering with the battles down low, we've seen some videos with you, Nur, Kassan, you throw a Winion in there. How would you describe those in practice right now? Uh, the practice is just real physical in general. You know, I think a lot of guys came in shape and uh, they're ready to trust their bodies and get physical and um, actually get down and play really good defense. And on the offensive end, a lot of guys, we were able to work on our game for a long time with no defense. So everybody's coming back a little bit more polished and it's real physical and it's really competitive. Obviously with me and Nurk back, there's more bodies in the paint. So it's harder to score. So um, it's just been really competitive and, and tough to score down there. Hi, Zach. It's Casey Holdall. Uh, I, I'm curious. You, you had talked about wanting to come back, obviously, bef before the, the, uh, the postponement. If that hadn't happened with the state of your shoulder, do you think you would have made it back before the end of the regular season? For sure. Yeah, that was my goal. I was definitely on the timeline of being able to come back. Um, the only thing that would have kind of, you know, held that back was we weren't, you know, with, with we didn't have a lot of bodies at the time and uh, towards that part of the season there's not a lot of opportunities to get long physical practices in so that would have kind of held back me coming back but um i my, that was my goal and i was definitely on track to do that so um yeah i, I definitely would have finished out the season thanks zach okay we're good Thank sweet you.